Hello friends, this is Odds, according to the Witness Protection Program, and today we're back to the 50 win series, this time with a milder entry uh, of only 20 wins with the Cenobite, aka Pinhead. Um, I'm going to tell you where the 50 win series has gone and where it's going to go in the future if you care about it. If you just want to see the Pinhead tips and the action, timestamps of course are always down below. Um, so yes, uh, with 20 wins on Pinhead, I am very, very happy. I think it's a decent uh, outcome. We now have at least 20 wins on every single killer in the roster. Uh, of course, many of them, I think about 15 or 16 of them, we have a full 50 win uh, streak on. And you can see those videos in the big playlist that we have with all the explanation and some of the best matches. Now for Pinhead, it wasn't quite as easy <laughs> to get to 50 wins. Uh, we did the, we did do uh, a few streak attempts, and ultimately I was happy with the 20 wins. Um, the main reason uh, why it's much harder to now get 50 wins uh, than before, I mean, uh, I'm sure it's very obvious, but it's the MMR system. Um, I don't think it's completely impossible to get 50 wins, especially if you were to change the rules. Our rules in the past were a bit more complex. Uh, keys used to be bug, they were very powerful. Now keys are very simple, the hatch is much less of an issue. So I decided to make them very, very simple. Three or four kills, win, uh, less than that, loss. In the end, all the matches that we won, we would have won with the previous rules. So basically the rules are the same as before, uh, at least here. I also, of course, used no add-ons, which was a bit tricky on this killer sometimes, but uh, it worked out. Um, the 20 wins were admittedly difficult. The MMR doesn't necessarily always pair me with incredibly strong teams, although it is more common for me to go against good teams than before. So the, the people being a bit sweatier and being a bit stronger than before, that is a small component of why this is harder. There's always been the issue of stream sniping, Although, you know, with a bit of stream delay or pretending to have stream delay, like with it with the Nemesis one, uh, I don't feel like I get strip snapped too much. Although, if I did, how would I know? Uh, I do know that there are softwares out there that allow people to literally press a button and stream snipe someone on command. Uh, so that's a bit scary, uh, getting 50 games without, you know, with maybe thousands of viewers and not having that happen to you. Uh, but perhaps the most insidious and, and stressful part of this is cheaters. Uh, I'm sure it comes to no surprise, cheaters are either more common now, or at least we see them more at higher MMR uh, as streamers. Uh, if a cheater is extremely blatant, we can always just discard the game. But for every blatant cheater, there has to be at least some cheater out there that just sees you through walls, that just makes themselves slightly faster, and to play 50 games in a row and not encounter any of them, uh, I feel like that gets less and less and less likely. Uh, unfortunately, if a cheater did cause me to lose, how would I know, right? So that is a thing that's always in the back of my mind that is very, very unfortunate that we have to, to worry about. And of course, uh, we don't have the luxury that we did before. Uh, for streaks like Clown, for instance, which was one of the tougher ones, if you want to watch it. I, I got to 40 wins in a row or so, lost, and then immediately grinded it again the next day and got it right afterwards, right? Uh, this is not something you can do with MMR. If you win 30 games in a row and then you lose, your next 50 games are going to be presumably harder and harder. Uh, there is a cap for the MMR, yes, but it's only a, a soft cap. So if you play on certain hours and your MR presumably gets higher and higher, your chances to play against some absolutely stacked group of survivors only get higher. So this is a, a challenge that gets harder the more you fail at it, especially if you're starting to do well. All of that together, honestly, has made me start to enjoy uh, streak uh, attempts less. My enjoyment for getting better at the killer and 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 learning new tricks and becoming consistent is a bit mellowed out by the possibility of cheaters and stuff ruining this. That's completely fine. There's perfectly good content opportunities elsewhere. Um, so I don't know what other kind of streaks I'll be doing in the future. But when I think about the streaks and the day before, I'm, I'm already stressed about it. And yeah, that if it doesn't make me feel good, ultimately, I think it's probably not healthy for me or for my content. 
So I'll be probably doing 20 win streak attempts on the next killer, and we'll see. We'll see how that evolves, but I'm not gonna sweat on it very much. Uh, that being said, we did get 20 wins on this killer. Uh, some killer, some people believe that this killer without add-ons is garbage. Many of his add-ons are gonna get nerfed in the future upcoming patch. So if you depended on them, or if you're just gonna pick him up, uh, some of the tips that I might give you, uh, you might find quite useful. Let's begin with the build that I used to help me out. It's not a build I swear, um, I swear by 100%, but I do believe it achieved a really powerful uh, effect of allowing me to learn how to play this killer. So my first two perks were Lethal Pursuer and Corrupt Intervention. Now, I think Lethal is the one perk you could probably drop if you wanted to. Uh, another alternative to Lethal could be Hoarder. Uh, the idea of, it, uh, of lethal is to find the cube at the start. If I go to a horrible map like Haddonfield, and we got plenty of Haddonfields and Badhams, uh, lethal allows me to see people in buildings and immediately start uh, harassing them and get my first chases, which is awesome. In more open maps, I don't necessarily need lethal, but by looking at the position of the survivors with lethal pursuer, in open maps especially, I can almost always, with a 90% certainty, find the cube right away and start uh, by picking it up and immediately putting pressure on the survivors. Um, that is amazing. That is really, really good. We'll get to the cube in a minute, but that is really, really incredible uh, early game pressure. Uh, for that reason, I really value lethal. Although sometimes uh, it does become hard. Uh, you'll see in one of the matches, indoor maps with lethal are very tough. For some reason, the spawns remain extremely unpredictable. Even seeing everyone with lethal, it's really hard to predict it, and it's really hard to play around it. So, it's a perk that makes you play better, and makes you learn. It's not a perk that you might want to keep on your build forever. Corrupt, on the other hand, is awesome. Uh, people are forced to move out, they waste time. Uh, maybe they go find the cube, maybe you interrupt the cube. Either way, they waste time, the chain hunt begins to happen. It's a pretty damn good perk. Ruin is a very vulnerable perk these days. People want to do boom totems, they want to find totems. And having just Ruin is a risk. It's a big, big risk. However, in the games where it stays out, it is absolutely worth the perk slot. Having the Chain Hunt along with Ruin makes Jens basically undoable. And there are many situations that you can engineer um, by using your, your power and exerting pressure correctly that makes survivors come to a full stop on everything they're doing, uh, which is great. Uh, no Way Out, I also figure, is a really safe, nice perk that allows you to play the last half of the match with some certainty that things can go right. Uh, even in the matches where it doesn't work out, it's something that you can learn and adapt to. It's a really powerful perk, very easy to use, um, difficult for the survivors to play around at times, and it can almost guarantee an extra kill. Uh, so obviously, I, I valued it very highly, even if we didn't need it many times. Uh, I still think it's really, really good. Would I recommend this build overall for you? Yes, yes I would. I think you will learn a lot with this build and it can help you be an amazing pinhead. Um, it's possible that in the future, you will shape it into a build of your own liking. Many people swear by, uh, by Franklin's Demise and Hoarder as a very easy way of finding the box, then slapping it out of someone's hand. Uh, I don't think this is complete. It's not a horrible idea at all. I don't think this is necessary. Let's talk about uh, some basic ideas. So. When the match starts, the cube spawns, and in about 90 seconds, I believe, the cube begins to do a chain hunt that bothers all survivors. They need to solve it before this happens. Um, if they come and solve it, that's bad, because yeah, they waste a bit of time, but now it resets again. Your idea is to not allow that to happen. Sometimes survivors will be very crafty, they will pick up the cube while you're busy hooking someone else. That's why you want to really, really understand how the cube spawns, go watch that video and always stay near the cube as if you were a trapper, so that they cannot uh, solve it quickly. Once they pick up that cube and they mess up, you want to go for that person. If you down them with the cube, the cube will respawn in 30 seconds, but during those 30 seconds, the chain hunt will be harassing them constantly, which is really, really good. If you pick up the cube yourself, the cube will respawn in 10 seconds. It's not as good, but it's still really, really nice. 10 seconds where they cannot do anything, then it spawns, then they need to find it, and then you could presumably find it again yourself and interrupt them again. And if you keep this up, this killer is incredible and his pressure on multiple survivors is basically unmatched. So that is great. Um, if you cannot um, 
interrupt the cube, you might choose to teleport to the survivor. If you choose to teleport, that will basically make it so the cube is solved. So it's not a great idea. Do this if the survivor that holds the cube is in a really bad spot or is a survivor of interest that you need to get killed as soon as possible. Otherwise, you won't see me come too often to the cube itself through the teleport. And other than that, um, sometimes the cube will be in really uh, odd places. They'll, they'll solve it and that's okay. You want to stall, you want to constantly buy time because every 90 seconds or so, new wave of cube comes around and at least one person is forced uh, to stop doing what they're doing. So that comes in handy very, very often. Um, on top of this slowdown from your cube, of course, you have your main uh, direct power, which is the possess chain. You send out a portal. It's very much like the nurse teleport. You cannot place it right on top of a survivor. Again, much like nurse teleport. So you need to get used to using it in a smart way and ideally placing it right next to the survivor and immediately hitting them uh, with the chain. That way, they lose a lot of speed, you catch up, you hit them. These chains break when they contact the, uh, when, they, when they make contact with the environment, when they make contact with yourself, and when they themselves break them through a short action. So they are very, very finicky. You, you cannot use them in places like Shack if they break immediately. You cannot use them in some loops where you yourself break them. Survivors that break the chains can dead hard last second although they cannot that hard while they are chained. There's a lot of difficulty to it. And honestly, it comes to a lot of practice and common sense. Practice landing the hit and common sense of not using your power in places where it's obviously not very good and not committing to chases where you obviously cannot do anything. You find that indoor maps like Larry's are tough for chains. Uh, luckily in those maps, your other perks like Corrupt, like Ruin might be a little bit more useful because they're hard to play around or hard to find. So you'll have that as a backup for those maps. Hopefully. Um, another thing about the chain that's really, really important uh, is its ability to interrupt. If a survivor is doing a cube within your terror radius, it's very possible that number one, they don't hear you because they're oblivious. Keep this in mind. They don't hear your terror radius while holding the box. And number two, you might be able to send out a portal far enough and use the box, um, uh, use the chain to interrupt someone doing the box. And that might give you just enough time to get close and then slap it out of their hands. Uh, the problem that you're going to face in the next update is that the cube holder will not get interrupted by chains anymore like they do right now. So, and the add-ons that help you delay the cube will now be nerfed. So what you're going to find is that it is a little bit harder to interrupt the cube. You'll need to be very on point. You'll need to remember and guess where the cube will spawn and try to proactively be near it so that you can always exert that sort of pressure. They never get away with just doing the cube repeatedly um, one time after another, uh, even though you might be near. So if you use your chains with a bit of common sense, and if you try to play around the cube spawn and always be a nuisance, that is enough to make this killer really, really, really powerful. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite matches from the ones we played. I'm gonna show you at least three. I might do a bit more digging and find another, but I'm gonna show you my, my three favorite matches um, in one of these matches, we played um, a really beautiful, elegant game where almost everything worked out. We landed some beautiful chains. Uh, we made some really cool predictions and it was one of my favorites. Then there's the match where we actually lost. We played against some really good survivors that played super smart, almost knew how to play around my power at every turn and we actually lost the streak. And then we also have a match where it didn't look really good at all. It was really, really tough. Uh, but we took advantage of a few tiny mistakes the survivor made to make them do very difficult decisions, which they ultimately failed. But I'm not going to tell you which one is which. I've swapped, I've swapped their orders a bunch. So all of these games should be really fun. And you won't know what you're in for. And it should be exciting until the very end, all of them. So... Um, without further ado, uh, enjoy uh, playing Pinhead if this video motivates you to do so. He's a fun character and enjoy the matches. I'll see you on the other side. Again, I was scared that this was going to be another fracture cow shot because it kind of looked like it. <laughs> I got so spooked, guys. It's so hard. One, two, three. That cube's probably over there. They're going into corrupt territory. I don't want to stop them, honestly. Let's chase this girl. 
Uh, I can pretend I haven't seen her. I think that's a I think that's a spread burst, by the way. Hold that. Still though. This girl has no that hard to worry about anymore. And everybody else seems to be kinda in the general vicinity. Might as well. Someone's stepping behind me. Oh my bad. I thought that was a free hit. I told you the cube was there. I'm actually gonna teleport. She might not know where it is. I can take her off guard. I'm not gonna go for this girl. I'm just gonna turn around and see this girl run into me, maybe. Mm, okay, that worked, but didn't quite. Oh, they know about my room. I had that Cheryl. That's not bad. I'm sorry, that. Where did that girl go? I hit someone. Just trust that I hit someone. Damn, that was so early, we didn't even see her. Oh, he came! Yeah, well, that, that was not my ruin coming. Clutch. Yeah, you! Thank you for the five. Appreciate that. Oh, you're here, actually. I don't see your shadow, though. What the hell? Good window there. Very good window there. Reason to be a bit concerned, maybe. What the fuck are all these sounds, man? This girl ran into me earlier. Really concerned. What's her motive? I almost know where everyone is. Let's get the image. Wow. Okay. Looks like I'm getting pebble. Rimburst out of that girl. I'm chasing the survivors in an actually decent area for them. Alright, your turn. We've been juggling them a bit, which is nice. We don't have a lot of hooks though. And ruin's gone, but it's done its job, hopefully. Bro, that was amazing, actually. Oh. Oh, that was so good. If, one, if you followed that up with another good play, dude, I, I would have been destroyed there. We are very lucky. Let's keep an eye on these two gems. I think that's what we need to worry about right now. We can mind game from her and then from me and then our mind games kind of like tongue twisted each other. That was really interesting actually. This is Zorino. There she is. I can kick. Uh, I, I love how they're not doing anything and I also like two gems or three gems over here actually. They're very clean. This seems like a camp, honestly, especially with the cube. Give me them. Give me the bloody pallet, dude. Oh, nice. She can't even do a... Nice. Okay. No need to camp. Uh, I think it's bad, actually. Love him. Even better. One person going for the cube, one person going for the rescue, this person going that. Rip Hawkins. Bless. And everyone's injured. Wow. Aren't we lucky? Where's our hook, though? Where's our hook? Do I teleport if I hear a heartbeat now? Someone healed. Stage two? Question mark? They're gonna try to escape. Oh, bruh, 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 you don't have pity. That girl is how close? Nice. Let's go for her. Let's, let's keep the pain going. She's oblivious, don't forget. Nice. Do it. That was really hard, by the way. I had to move my my mouse like a tiny little bit because you're super ultra mega fast by the end of your charm, of your possess chain. So that was super lucky. Like you'll notice, you'll notice that it feels like you lose control of it, and it's just because it the, the speed ramps up super dramatically. Oh nice, this chains, dude. These loops are actually so nice for this. We broke that one ourselves. So we have one hook on everyone and two hooks on whoms. This girl? She hit stage two, right? Could it be that the girl hit stage two that Kobe? Don't remember. That was so good from her. That was so good from her. Damn, lucky as well. Okay, let's go around and see what happens. I'm gonna do this. And she's not stupid. Why am I expecting her to? 
Oh, nice, bulk chain again. I almost didn't hit that because... Oh, nice, that's there. Because the cooldown from canceling your power is actually kind of big. Dude, I could stop that. I legit could stop that. I didn't, but I could have. Life or something? No, no, you guys. This person's been there for a little while now. I think you will fall for it, though. Never mind, these guys are gods of pallets. Alright, well, now is everyone injured. Um. There. Don't think that achieves much, but maybe the panic gets them to do something stupid at this pallet or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Are fasting closer trappers green or purple? They're green now. Uh, the blood web is outdated because that was from before the update. But they're green. Buy it and it will turn green. Oh, well, that's hard. Everyone dead on hope. What is this game, dude? We have played this like a like a little architect of pain. Damn, we have we have somehow gotten everyone dead on hope by by either hooking them multiple times or just getting lucky with the second stage. Damn. They didn't play this perfectly of course. It's just like they the cube just hit them when they couldn't do much about it. But I'm still happy, I feel we played well. I'm trying to bait that head on. So no, it's not there. I never played Bioshock games. I hear they're decent though. Did they drop this pallet? Why? Hmm. Why ruin pop I think would keep the gens way better. How many times have you seen me kick a gen? Not too many. I, I don't have time. I, I, I like the idea of giving them something passive to do. You know? Rather than giving me something to do. Ah, my bad. We couldn't stop. Oh! She did harder though. She believed in us. She believed in us, chat. We should have believed as well. Like, think about it this way. In this match, they found the ruin early. Yeah, but they need to find ruin. They need to do ruin. Sometimes it's not so easy. Um, they need to do gems. They need to be chased. They need to find the cube. I want to give them side objectives. No, I don't want to give me more side objectives. Is Pop bad on this killer? No, Pop is probably great on this killer. But I think Ruin's better. And if I had to choose, I'll take Ruin. Just for, just for the just for that, you know, just to pile up stuff for them to do, so that one part of it goes wrong. You don't you don't you just need one part of it going wrong. You just need one of them messing up the Ruin, one of them messing up the box. I don't think she would go through the window. Either. That was cool, dude. That was actually kind of cool. If we have bamboo, maybe the speed. Mm, hold up. This is spring burst, though. Right? I think she'll fake the other window. No, actually, she won there. Oh no! I found it. Sorry, buddy. I would have given it. I didn't want people to think that you beat me to it. I would give exit, but it's gonna take you five minutes to open it, so. Easy 4K. Oh, that wasn't easy. They played really well, I think. We were very lucky, and magically, somehow, we were on point all the time. We barely missed chains. Like, it was so lucky. We had some, we had some really nasty ones, too. Yeah. I love you, and boobs also. Thank you, Biffo. You have a good taste, friend. Cheers. That was a satisfying one. It didn't even feel that long. <laughs> so, the Kate. Who was she? Tetain. She absolutely had DS. So she, uh, when we slugged her there and went for the person on the queue, that was a good hunch. We would have been in a DS, our momentum would have been gone. Yeah. I love seeing people with off the record and detectives and smash it. It's nice to see variety. Smash it against the skiller can work just fine. I bet you probably hit me with it once or twice. But nice. Nice. And then. Whatever that means. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Um, no. No. I don't feel like a plastic bag. Maybe like a Gucci, a Gucci bag. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like an eye bag. Yeah, but not a plastic bag, no. Mm, that out of the tells me the cube is over there, but I shouldn't care. We have one and two people here. It's more important. 
Let's chase this person into cube, if possible. We'll hear cube pick up in two seconds, and it's gonna be over there, I reckon. So if we engineer this well enough, so hard, the thing goes super fast. We are next to them. Wait, are they on my ruin? They might be actually. No, I hear the cube. I don't hear the cube. I heard the stupid totem. Oh, you're telling me where it is, aren't you? That's far enough that I can't stop it. Just by a little bit, though. Shame. That's okay. Mm, what? You're mad. You're insane, John Jin. Dude. You won the lottery and then threw away the ticket. All right, must be mad confident. That girl got healed fast. Maybe two people over there. Hmm. Why the game reset my rank? Guys, some of these things you, you literally kind of get explanations for in the wiki. It's rank reset there, guys. So, isn't that normal? That's exactly what happens. That's a damn shame, dude. If that wasn't a toolbox that saves you 10 seconds, maybe we would have stopped it with Ruin. She does have a toolbox, doesn't she? Big one too, maybe. Maybe not. I will call... Oh, that was not even too far. That's good. This pilot's out. I looked away to maybe pull her. Think, make her think I was overthinking it. She's got another exact same jungle. You're kidding. Okay, right, that's good. Is it good though? Is it good though? No, no, no. Pfft, okay. That is just. Pfft. That's just kind of rigged, honestly, man. Meh. Okay, they don't have that many pallets. We're four gems. They're gonna miss these. They're strong. Let's accept it. We should have maybe teleported out and broken that a bit faster. You can just play around this way now a little bit and just. Oh, never mind. That was a good fake, though. Could have been really good. Greedy. That's a bad hard comment. Yeah. Luckily, she didn't choose the direction, so she goes down. This is bad. We gotta go. They're doing gentle interrupt the corpse out. Mm. Well, guys, if you literally load into the game, does it tell you in the game? No, it doesn't tell you in the game, but they've made Twitter posts and news posts about the rank reset issue, so just chill. It's no big deal. I think. Is it a big deal to anyone? Mm. You need to do it immediately or not do it at all. Hi, Madras. Welcome. Damn it, dude. Damn it, dude. Oh, GG's. GG's. They're making mistakes. I'm making mistakes. But my mistakes are counting more, I feel. Um. That hard validator again. Ooh, we're ready for it, though. Hey, this girl's dead on hook. What the fuck are you doing? Soul guard. Oh, good fucking, good fucking grief. Nice, dude. That's no, that's no solo play. That's powerful. What the fuck could I have done about that? She already took fucking several hits. Oh man, how many times do you need to get fucking help? Oh, that's horrible. I cannot just chase the other girl. She, we have no hooks on her. Yeah, this is already so strong against us. Oh man. Good thing she ran into nothing. And that could have been stopped easily. Oh, they patched that, right. Yikes, man. Well played by them. Now, we have a person that cannot heal for a little while, and we need to make that really, really matter. Can we? I don't think so, but we really need to try. By getting everybody else injured. Ah, dude. Ooh, on point. On point. Honestly. That's not very on point for me. 
And we have no cube when we need it most. Eh. I that color is on our first hook. Hello. I I made a horrible decision then. That heart is just fine. No, it's just fine. Oh, dude. Okay, who have I? Who the fuck have I hooked? I've hooked three different people. Yikes, that's horrible. This is the only person that'll hook. Okay, now we know where we're sitting, but it's bad. It's bad. It's good to have information, but the information tells us something bad. So let's get someone that'll hook and no way out might save our asses. These chants are great, though. Yeah, they're all healing over there, presumably. But is that gent not being done? And it doesn't look like it? This is an easy fucking camp right now. They need to... They need to send their best and they need to do it fast. Yikes, dude. Approve thyself on that gen would be very profitable for them right now. Yeah, I think I, I understand the situation good. I just need to pray they don't finish that gen quick enough. Okay, one of them is busy with the cube. That's very good. That means there's only one. Um, I still think they can exchange this though. I think this girl needs to be camped. I think they've... Yeah, I'm sorry. She'll fake it the first time? That's very unlucky. Wow, everyone here, actually. That's a terrible fucking chain. Oh, uh, never mind. Did I see her? No. I thought that was her. She's still over there. Okay, that's good. The final gen's been protected a bit. We can do something about this. Let's call that, though. Bloody fuck. No, don't let her fuck. Give up. You're reuniting with the Claudette somewhere, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're telling me. Oh, thank you. Trying to use your for the people or whatever the fuck other perk you have. Blood bag, maybe. Okay, that's good. Second people that don't hook. That girl did get healed. <coughs> you're gonna set. You're gonna see the <coughs> redhead witch girl get healed in two seconds. We need to be there. Um. Um, if we chase this girl or make her think we are, or we save a bit of time, I guess. Okay, pretend I haven't seen the witch. Oh, she doesn't even give a fuck. Okay, we actually have a bit of a wall. Very, very weak wall, but there is the assault on the wall. Like this difficult as fuck. Uh, camping, I think, is the key with no way out right now. They have a gen, but we know that they've been they've been busy. It needs, it needs to be John Jin, the only person working on Jin that comes to Jurassic Code. No one else can, because they're injured. And they don't have medkits. Thank goodness. Uh, same play as before, exactly the same play as before. Except I'm not near the Jins now, which kind of sucks. That was that was good of you guys. Oh, that's too much info, actually. No, 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 no. Doing the cooldown, that girl gets the rescue. Absolutely not. I'll take you. Sorry. Right, no BT on this girl would have been good to know earlier. Sorry, but we need to play hard. We forced the person that we want to kill to do the rescue. We pulled the strings a little bit. Now we can we can win this, I think. Fake it and not actually use it. Oh, you think I give a fuck, dude? You didn't hook and you're injured. And the last gen, as far as I understand, it's not getting done in the next 10 seconds. So... I think that that's just not too good for you. Especially if they're healing. Like this, she's gonna do something stupid. She used her dead heart after the hook, so that's fine. Alright, sorry buddy. Oh. Nice. Just a guess, I guess. Props to the fight. She, she's a good teammate. But, you know, I need to play as like an absolute fucking despot. A tyrant. Okay, well, the other girl's over there. We. Mm, hi, Spooks. That's sweet of you to say, thank you. 
Uh, what a turnaround. It's all about remembering who the fuck I had hooked. If I didn't fucking keep in mind who's dead on hook and who can do what, and keeping people injured so they can go for the rescue and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna tell you a couple things that could have fucking destroyed us. Good medkits. A good boon totem. A good deliverance here and there. Uh, I don't know. Camaraderie. Ooh, camaraderie. Ooh. Yeah, try to camp someone for 10 seconds. Suddenly it's 40 seconds now. And we camp people for longer than that, so... Yeah, we played super nasty. Uh, these people could have played around that better, but otherwise they did incredible. Oh, did you? <coughs> oh. What if they let the person die on the hook? It's not so easy. It's not so easy. If you're all injured and you let someone die on the hook and that person... Um, oh, they call me. And then the killer has no way out, you're screwed. Like, it's not so simple. I'm playing around my perks here. Same way they are playing around theirs, mind you. Kobe again? Deserve? I am not complaining. That's... Let's get close. Okay. Come here, little fish. Alright, you guys wanna eat another DS? Let's do it. Just because I like you guys. Oh! Lucky. Has anyone else had the FPS drop for a sec? Oh, on the stream, on their game? Oh, God, thank you. And Doom, thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm sorry we have to play a bit nasty sometimes, so, you know, it's part of the game, I suppose. We can't, we, like, like, I cannot do this and complain. If I lose three gens at the start and be like, oh, they did three gen, gen rushing. But I don't do that. If we lose three gens, then well, fuck. And if they die at one gen, oh, well, well, fuck. She'll go for the long side. Oh, never mind, she broke out super early. You change the streak rules? Very slightly. They're now simpler and more straightforward. Three kills, four kills, win. Anything else? Loss. This kill with Iridus and Adams is really strong. Without Iridus and Adams, he's still very strong. But yeah, I'm sure you're just memeing. <laughs> Two hours played amazing. I think this game is honestly, you can learn so much. The centro, if this game was a textbook, the title would be health states and why you need people healthy to go for rescue and, and you know, when the killer camps. If the killer's not camping, then you know. But yeah, GG's to everyone. That was a really fun play for the people and a cheeky soul guard on the other team, on the other teammate. Amazing, fun game. Do this, does this game need more than five killers? Um, I mean, PC, on some consoles you get like Hag and Doctor, which is pretty nice. It would be nice if PC had that by default too. What not it? I constantly miss the fourth survivor. I think Cube's gonna be around. Come on Cube. I found ya, lovely. Bong. Come on. Give me a free hit here. Very lucky she didn't get a pilot in the middle here. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Ooh, brave. Very brave, actually. I'm afraid of good swabbers in Shag. They play this really well. If she had that hard, that would have been an immensely powerful one. We let her do it. We do it. We're going up, one person busy, one person dying in the hook right now. I take that. Easy. Let's do it. Now we're on the floor. This person's in a really dead zone too. That was a bargain. And someone's doing totems. Jesus Christ, do they even have a gen ready? They should. Do they even? I'm gonna fake this, see if she does anything unusual. She does! She ignores the pilot! Well, she might have another board. I think a bit of panic happened here. Lucky. Oh, how do you determine the box's location relative to Lethal Pursuer? Is there a video explaining it? Yes. Uh, it has a very explanatory title. How to reliably find the box spawn. Look that up. Maybe with my name. 
uh, and you find that on YouTube first or second result, perhaps. I think I, I explain it visually, and then I think after the game or before or some, I, I explain it in a little MS Paint uh, uh, car, uh, cardboard, uh, blackboard. But yeah, I think with that you'll know the same I do. That's where it is. What do you know? The ten, the Cenobite teleports between 10 and 12 meters somewhere around the survivor. There is no rhyme or reason to it. You cannot, as a survivor, determine um, that he's going to be in front or whatever. I think she might have she might have seen that. No, she didn't. Nice. It looks like she was staring, but if I do the power and fake it, it sells the illusion that she needs to move forward. What is the red display behind me? Oh, the one on the left? That's one of my favorites. That's... I mean, um, um, the... The... The protagonist, uh, Eren, and the uh, armor titan. Damn, that was a breakup. Yep, I did. Hardcore. Oh, but they messed up. Alright, cool. We should have been able to teleport to that and get our... S Just because you have a flash, that doesn't mean you need to use it. You're going to do... undo the... The good... That that girl has done to you. I'm sorry. I thought she was near. This girl is super unpredictable and I don't hear her so well. Okay, she's in a bad spot now. Never mind! Ah, uh, well done, well done, well done. Oh, look. You were safe. Good job to the Yui. Incredible play, dude. I always I'm impressed by Sabo players. Mm. Oh, let's come on. I said nothing. But yeah, it's an Attack on Titan uh, display, and it's wonderful. One of the best. The artist that did that, I think, is also the artist, the artist that did the one on the right, which is Shadow of the Colossus. These three have the same theme going, and I like them a lot. I might replace them, though. It's nice to have different backgrounds. You're over here, aren't you? Actually, I'm not so sure. Let's work this out. I think this is a good start, still. Second win? Oh, <gasps> no, that was a mistake. Oh, dude, you give me a second hook? And a full reset on my slowdown, that's so nice. Did I get a plate here? Did I get a plate? Oh my god, I kinda did. Hold up. I wanted to chain her and then hit her. Maybe that would help? I don't know. Nice to find out, right? right. Remember, a survivor can never drop their cube. Go on. Well, you pick it up. If you sometimes grab them or get them out of a locker, it might look like it didn't work because you don't see that animation, but it still works. As long as you down them, you get the cube and in 10 seconds, it respawns and they get harassed by chains until they get it back. What do you think of Pennywise? Pennywise is one of those demons that changes forms and stuff, so it would be a very creative character to have in this game. Then again, we already have an evil demon or an evil clown or an evil everything, so maybe not. Lucky, wow. I barely deserve that. I'm gonna fake this. I have no clue what she's doing. The chain hunt is really getting her. You cannot win that 50 50. You should have just dropped that. Wait, could she even drop it? Was she even far enough? I'm sure she could have eventually, but she was scared that she would drop it on the wrong side. <sighs> Yo, girl. What's up? No way. Okay, watch this. No way that works ever. Okay. Getting a bit ambitious here. The pilot here is gone, right? Let's snap. Oh, that was a beautiful tree to use. Damn. Nice. That floppy place for me. We are two gens. Uh, no way out or not. I think I should respect this. Ha! I, I didn't have you. I didn't have you at all. I just used my power and that convinced her to keep running. Okay, that's nice, dude. 
That's nice. Sometimes in a chase, you feel like you can't do anything to really speed up the process, but that was, I think, a good play. Nice. Can you show the art? Uh, you can see it for yourself if you use command display. You'll get a link. And I think I have it saved somewhere on my profile. You can also just search Attack on Titan after you use that link and you'll get the discount automatically applied. It's pretty gorgeous. I'll show it though. Hello? Friends? Nice. So yeah, uh, obviously it goes without saying, uh, we're sponsored by this place. They send me breadcrumbs every now and then. And if you do any purchase, it supports me. So thank you. <sighs> How long had that been? Jesus. It had been a while. Good. That hard didn't work. Tunneler? We downed two people after her hork punch, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yay! I'm gonna get DS'd again. Might as well. Girly girl, come back. I'm getting better at landing some of these, by the way. I think. Is that that hard on every single person, by the way? How old are the breadcrumbs? Nah, they're they're amazing partners, honestly. They've sent me a lot of cool displays over the over the months. Oh hmm. so, yeah, <laughs> don't misinterpret me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have ten seconds left of the S. I'll go pick up you. I'll pick you up in a second. <laughs> Silly goof. Oh hello. I think I'll cancel that. Nice, nice. That was a really good play by her, though. Really, really good play. I feel like we could learn something about it. Um, she just got faster. She can push me with the chains? I didn't know that. She looks so fucking scared. What happened, dude? Is this a console player? It is. Same button to vault and break chain. Uh, get outplayed by the good old console scheme. Are some of the hackers using auto dead hearts? I've seen a I've seen a streamer uh, say that yeah, it's a thing. But you know, what is the difference between a survivor getting super lucky and hitting you with dead heart at the very end? And a survivor being a cheater and hitting you without a death heart at the very end. None. Like, from your point of view, none. So, I say, don't sweat it. That shouldn't be the deciding factor whether someone is a cheater or not. The deciding factor is when you see them fucking fly and evidence piles up. <sighs> Predator? Oof. Yeah. I understand. We're maxed out on points again. So, who was Sam? Was Sam the... Meg? Oh wow, this girl had no DS. Okay, my bad. I misunderstood one of the plays by the end there. Didn't matter very much. Good to know. I'm gonna focus my dudes, if that's okay. Ooh, this is a tough map. For our strat at least, I think it's really tough. Let's see where they spawn and see what I can learn from this though. Yeah, I, I have no idea where the cube is. Like, my, my best idea is in the middle, but... Jesus, who do I go for? Like, this is horrible. It might be on my same side. That's really strange. Why, why would you leave such a strong place? That was a really good pickup, honestly. I teleporting there would do nothing for us. I think I will, because I hear steps, but no, but no pain. This girl could have done this 
Could have made this so much harder, honestly. She's got that heart too. That's a damn shame. Please tell me she didn't run away. I I don't wanna I wanna secure this down actually. Oh my god, she used it to She used it to avoid the chain. Alright, that's pretty smart. They found the ruin and the cube so quickly. Well done. Uh, not horrible because of corrupt, but those gens are gonna start being done. Let's walk over them. If I think her now, I would be so happy. Okay, I think we made the right choice. I think they're here. No, no. Oh yeah, this killer is incredibly difficult. Like, don't, don't if you play this killer and you don't do it immediately well, or you didn't do well for a long time. It's not you. This killer's really hard. Y you have a lot of things going on with him. I now have 100 hours in PvP and really like the game. However, I am currently studying and do not know if it is worth investing thousands of hours. You can play this game casually, my friend. So hard because I love DVD and You can if you if you play this game smart and learn quick, and I'm sure you're capable of that because you're probably really smart. You can totally have fun with this game and not necessarily have 5,000 million hours, you know. So. Don't feel bad about it at all. I knew that was gonna happen, but I don't think it matters very much, does it? Please pick up as quickly as you humanly can. They're gonna maybe try to drop it? Did it one gen? Uh, yeah, I need to hurry up one sec, love. That's a damn shame, dude. That's a damn shame. How close were we to actually stopping them? He didn't even pick it up that quickly. Well, I think the person that ran that way is coming back. So, I'm going up. Might have been wrong. Wow, impressive. Very good, my hair. I tried. We're gonna give her an easy win though. Oh, that's a pilot. Or a hit. Oh, Ruin. If Ruin was up right now, we would have such a lifeline. It would be helping us so much. Shame. That gen's gonna go from not done to basically done in no time. I need to prevent this. I need to prevent that. That hard to the next pilot or whatever. Okay, so this is three different hooks on three different people, I reckon. Oh man. We need to pressure that. What's up? What the fuck? How? How the fuck? They finished both. Shame. No, that's a shame. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna be a really hard one. Uh, no way out in this map is powerful though. I feel like they'll play around it just fine. Those two guys, let them heal maybe. This girl has a pallet that she saved earlier that she could use here. But she's not for some reason. That's really up. Jesus. Dance before friends? No, that works out. That works out. That didn't make sense, though. I think you'll go back to the window. Bro. That's a damn shame. Every time you miss a chain, even, even just miss one miss chain, it's, it's really powerful. Damn. Close as that was. I can hook for her. We need we need someone killed yesterday, dudes. They've already healed up. Before the flashy can happen. They're right here too. Do they sabotage this somehow? Nope. Oh, um, that's really good. Chen Hun. I don't I don't even want to try to guess where they are. What? You picked it up? Are you crazy? Dude, you you might win me this game. That was a horrible mistake. I didn't know it was here. Just let it be. Oh, my bad. Very good movements, by the way. These guys are so good. Window. Oh, my power canceled. No. Please try to cool down. There you go. Oh, I was so slow. She that hearts, but I don't think she makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Just a good thing with them swing there. I need I need this mm, slow down so badly right now. 
She's dead on Hork and the Cloud is dead on Hork, but no one else is. So we need to hurry up, I think. Oh man, what now, what now, what now? She enter hard. Let's come here, see what's going on. This build has very little info for us. <gasps> oh, that's actually super good. Wait, 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 no. I need to slow them down a little bit, just to force their hands. If I injure this girl, I know I need to go for Claudette, but if I injure this girl, I am basically forcing a particular person to go for the cube and do what we know has to be done. Oh, please get harassed by the chance, don't get the free rescue. Nice. Oh, dude. These guys are so good. I don't do this. I need to, I need to stop Claudette, whatever she is. I, I'm not even chasing this guy, I'm literally just going through here. I think she's- <gasps> No way. Oh my god, I'm so really lucky, dude. I'm so lucky they get another chain hunt that they cannot stop. Look at the wall just in case the Nancy is smart. But she needs to mend though. Yeah, 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 she's dead. Oh. oh, dude. Oh, I thought she would be on the top floor and I'm like, oh, I can I can delay it, but I can't stop it. Well, we're so lucky. Obliviousness. Helps a lot with this thing, by the way. Very underrated part of this killer. They need to be really well communicated to make use of everything. I chase the skill who's the only one healthy, force the injured people to go for the cube, and we try to slap it out of their hands. But eventually they do find that it just spawned again. They didn't give a fuck about the cube, my dudes. They just power through the power through the chains. I've never seen that. But it makes sense if the gems nearly done, right? I need to go for Nancy, but I can't. <laughs> Death Harding Chains, let's go, bros, let's go. Oh my goodness. I can't go for this fella. I need to kill Nancy. Chaos, I started playing this October, maining race. I made killer iridescent one after six no. or seven hours. I'm, I'm gonna lose this, my dudes. I've got around 200 hours now. He can slow while that and make it. Has been an Does it block? Probably not. Because why would it, right? I tried. I tried. Those adrenalines were really painful. I think they got one. Oh, they did, they did block, actually. I'm so sorry, dude. Good players really make me fucking suffer with this short uh, loop chains. I don't know if I can save this. Don't forget he's out of the uses that hard. Alright, they can't open the gate just yet. If I find one of them and they mess up, this could be salvageable. I don't think they're gonna mess up though. They are kind of messing up. I think the problem here is that they do have... They do have uh, Unbreakable on... What?! Oh man, chains. Oh man. It doesn't matter if you hit them sometimes. Okay. I'm, I really need to fool them here. She just waits at the corner. There's no fooling them. She knows that if she goes around that corner, it's really hard. It's really hard to get them, dudes. That goes out. And... I'm gonna try to do something unusual. He might call me out to her, but... If she made the wager of running this way, I can maybe catch her. If she now goes all the way- I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I only have one idea that could save me. But that doesn't stop him. Maybe it stops him, but it doesn't stop her. We lose. Two people escape here. It's too difficult. It's too difficult, man. We didn't even play that badly, by the way. I just didn't expect- What are you guys doing? Oh, dedicated. That guy, this, hmm. I don't think he run actually, but I need to check. Oh, he did run. He's right here actually. Hold on. I think he's just iron willing it out. I didn't see his blood, but. Where the, f where the fuck could this man be? Yikes. They picked up. So difficult, actually. They could have Unbreakable as well. 
it kind of lines up. Um, you know what? I only see them making one mistake at this point. But if they heal, which they should be able to, they should be fine. I see them making one mistake, which is not to open the other gate. And oh, chain hunts right over here. Yeah, that's good. They can't open the other gate in time, actually. I might kill them by entity, believe it or not. They're solving it. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, friend. Oh, wait, no, if you solve it, then the other person gets to escape. Oh, yeah, if you so if you just keep it on yourself, the chains only affect you. I think they open that gate and get out, friends. Yeah, it was going to be close, though. They're both out. Damn, that's so smart. Ah, uh, yeah, GG, swap player. That was a close one, too. Like, they had a few seconds left. Now, let's see what perks they brought. Damn, dude. Damn, son. Damn. About what you'd expect. Not too bad, though. 21 strike. We'll call it a... We'll call it a day. Do I say... Do I say anything like smartass? They played really well. They played really well. That was just a hard-ass match. <laughs> they made some very unusual, very difficult decisions, but... Picking up the cube there probably helped them. <laughs> you can open the gate. Okay, I think. Even with... Chains harassing you. I don't know how hard that is, actually. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we were we were a bit lucky that none of these guys had unbreakable. We were not lucky that everyone's running Iron Whale, and I, I can't tell where they are. Hmm. Actually, no, none of these guys had Iron Whale. I'm not the ones that were alive, I think. Yeah, this is the two that were alive at the end. <sighs> Still though, like he makes a stupid play. That heart gets dedicated, so I'm, I'm wasting time. Imagine if that happened. Imagine if that dead heart didn't get dedicated. So if we were playing a week ago, they would have lost. And by a week ago, I mean a few weeks ago before that heart dedication. But no, no. You see, I think I understand why. Uh, now, I've changed my mind about that heart. People used to say, "Oh, that heart is Primrose. Which one's better?" I think that if you if you did if you put them side to side, Primrose was a little bit better. Because that heart always has the risk of you playing too risky and the killer having a McDonald's Wi-Fi connection. Now nah, that's not even an issue. As long as you that heart in your screen, you're fine, right? Or at least it's a lot more lenient. Yeah, well, get used to this. You're gonna see a lot. Did you still? Isn't that the usual menu? It's not that it's not the usual menu. It's that. It's that. I don't know. Like, if you play against a nurse that's not very good, and she's using Ruin and Dying, Haunted, Corrupt. Eh, uh, alright. Is it fun? No. Maybe you win. Maybe you don't. But if you play against the best fucking nurse EU with 12,000 hours, who only plays nurse, who plays on a resolution that goes into the fourth dimension, that has the best fucking perks, the best fucking add-ons, and sends you to a map of her choosing. Like, you start to feel like, okay, it's the same bullshit, but this is starting to get ridiculous. If you're that fucking good, these perks are so fucking hard to play around. Damn, so. Damn. And that's not to say that this was unwinnable, by the way. Despite that, we still had a decent build. This Lethal Pursuer is not so helpful in, in such an indoor map. But we still had a pretty good build, and we still had everything we needed to win that. It's just no way out. It just happened at the wrong time. I feel, and this might be a bit of a mistake, I feel I should have changed the Nancy. The Nancy with Adrenaline, who was healthy, doesn't matter that she's healthy. Just one minute, dude. Just one minute. Just trust that you're gonna down her in one minute. Instead, we didn't chase her. She got her Adrenaline, then she got the Exhaustion back, so she still had her Dead Heart. You understand, right? So by the time we downed the Ace, or whoever we were chasing, that was a mistake. So if you, if you play this game and be like, oh, dude, unwinnable, unwinnable. I mean, cool, but then you're gonna miss out on some of the mistakes that I made myself. Oh, and by the way, thank you for sticking up until the end. I realize I never tell you guys on YouTube, but if you like the posters that I have on my back, these are metal posters called disc blitz. We have this really, really pretty one of Ghostface and Pig, uh, designed by our friend Chris for us, uh, on our disc blitz shop, if you'd like to get your hands on it. I think they have a, some really nice Black Friday and obviously Christmas deals coming soon. I'll leave you a link down below if you want to grab one and support the channel. Thanks so much for that. I'll see you in the next one.